Okay, this video is going to be on hardware required to build your own pompano rigs. You're going to need a few things, and let's start with the barrel swivel. That's going to be the piece of hardware you're going to use to uh, put on your pompano rig, and that's going to be the portion that's tied to your shock leader. I don't have the lines out here that I use, but just watch my video on pompano fishing line specs. Uh, you can use 50 pound tests for your pompano rigs. And as far as the shock leader, you know, you want to stick with a 40 or a 50 pound, depending on the type of reel you use. But anyways, uh, let's start with this barrel swivel. You can get these just about any store, but, uh, you know, these particular ones here are a uh, 90 pound rated number five barrel swivel from Bass Pro Shops. And you can see the size, you know, I put a penny here for scale. And, uh, you know, they're probably almost as big as a penny, but uh, when you go in there, make sure you don't get anything smaller than this. Otherwise, they're going to be difficult to work with. Uh, same thing with the uh, dual lock snap swivel. You know, you want to make sure you get a big enough snap because at the end of the day, you're going to want to uh, take your sinker off and on one of the supports going to your eyelets, you're going to connect that on there and anything smaller is just a is a pain to work with so and once again these particular uh, dual lock snaps are from Bass Pro and they're on number four and they're rated for 60 pounds so uh, the other thing you're gonna need is uh, hooks and uh, these hooks are made by Eagle Claw they're called a Circle C and they're an L197 2 watt and these are my favorite hook. I don't think they are stainless by any means, but they have a special coating on them and they, they hold up just fine. You're not going to want to reuse your hooks anyways when you, uh, when you redo your pompano rigs. At least I don't. You know, any, any dullness at all, I, uh, I might lose a fish. So, you know, you can toss them if you want to reclaim gear. I always reclaim my snaps and my my barrel swivels uh, and possibly beads but the hooks I don't reuse so uh, that's enough about the about the hooks you can get those anywhere you please uh, you know they're gonna have these at Walmart or whatever but the, the bigger the quantity the bigger the savings uh, check on eBay check on Amazon check your local tackle stores if you're a commercial fisherman your fish house is probably gonna have them at a deep discount so if you don't have a commercial license, maybe your buddy does and he can buy you some. So, the other thing you're going to need is a, a bead. You know, a lot of my pompano rigs have a bead on there to attract the pompano, and and these are an eight millimeter bead that I use, and those I always get at Jan's Netcraft, and uh, all this information is going to be on my uh, my video in the information section. You'll see everything. Uh, written out for you as far as what sizes these are. Uh, the other thing that you're going to require is uh, these toothpicks. If you watch my video on tying these pompano rigs, the secret to keeping that uh, bead in place and not moving up and down on your line is uh, is taking these party picks. You know, and you say to yourself, oh, I can just use any toothpick. Well, you really can. If you use a regular white toothpick, they're made of a softer wood, and they're going to, when you get to take your pliers and jam it into the bead and then cut them off with your nail clippers, you're going to find that uh, the white ones are just going to disintegrate quicker. So these are made of some type of a different hardwood, and you can get these at uh, Walmart. There's a bunch on eBay, but make sure... You know, you stick with this brand, stick with Diamond, and it'll say on it, square with a round tip. Don't use anything else. And uh, as far as floats, you know, you don't have to buy those either. You can you can make your own. Uh, I've got a video on my YouTube channel for making uh, Pompano rig floats. And all you got to do is go out and buy yourself a, uh, a pair of cheap flip-flops for a dollar. And uh, one pair of flip-flops will make hundreds of these floats. And, you know, you put your bead above it, and they work great. And it won't cost you much at all versus going out and buying pompano floats. 
or you know some people I've heard of actually uh, trying to make them with earplugs which can get a little expensive too so watch my video on making your own pompano floats and you'll save a bunch of money there so and when I get all done making these rigs I I put a piece of tape on the end of the hooks and uh, then I pop them in one of these hefty slide lock bags and it's a great way of keeping them all together just you know get the air out of it roll them all together put a rubber band on it and throw it in your bucket and you're ready to go for for your next um, you know shark off or whatever reason you lose a, a rig on the beach so that's it for hardware on Pompano rigs and if you like this video please subscribe to my Pompano brownie channel and that's it for this video